Nowhere for Beauty is a play with music about a prison in South America. It's a maximum security prison for women that holds an annual beauty pageant. And so our play is about the night before the pageant and the pageant itself. The project began with Steve Cosson, who runs the Civilians Theatre Company in New York. And he approached me many years ago, I can't even remember now how many, like five, and he said that he had wanted to do a play about this beauty pageant in the Buen Pastor prison. And he described it to me and he said that he had an idea to do it with music and would I write the script? And I, I thought about it for a while and I said yes, I'd be very happy to. I was inspired when I was down in South America and we went to the prison and it's a prison and you know it's it's a gloomy depressing oppressive place and yet these women manage to keep going through the depression through the anger and the isolation and lack of freedom what I found in these women was a, a kind of resilience and spirit and still love of, of life which I found really inspiring. And I thought, you know, one of the reasons I wanted to write the play was to convey that. Convey that in the, the darkest of circumstances, there are human beings that still believe in love and still believe in each other. And that, to me, was the most inspiring thing. I wanted to be a playwright very early in life. I had always been writing stories as a kid. And in high school, someone introduced me to The Glass Menagerie, and I read it, and I just thought it was the most beautiful thing ever made by a human being. And I thought, God, I really want to do something like that. I want to do, I want to do that. And I started writing plays in high school. I continued writing plays through college. I never went to graduate school. I, I went right to New York and just got a nine to five job, wrote plays at night, got rejected for years and years and then had a big break in 1983 with a play called The House of Ramon Iglesia which won a national playwriting contest and I was able to quit my nine-to-five job and been a professional writer ever since. Began to juggle uh, plays with film in the 90s. To this day that's pretty much what I do. I have a really really great relationship with the Goodman Theatre going back to the 90s when they produced my play The Cloud Tectonics, which Henry Godinez uh, directed. It was a beautiful production with a wonderful cast, and that really began our relationship. And since then, you know, I've had several other plays here. A play called Massa Cursing to Your Children was done here that Chuck Smith directed, and then Henry directed a play of mine called Boleros for the Disenchanted and in the big space, and it was quite wonderful production. And now this one. You're gonna see some amazing exciting Latin talent. Acting, dancing, singing. I feel we have like the cream of the crop uh, in terms of Latin uh, talent in, in this country. So for no other reason, just come to see them. They're amazing.